New York City. And there's music in the air, uptown, downtown, east and west. And like New Orleans, it never rests. Night and day, it turns around. And Frank Foster, here we are at Arc de Lugdorf's uh, revival of the Village Gate. And on the strip, as you said, right. the, the street, 52nd Street. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Lee. Frank, uh, post uh, responsibilities for Basie, what, how's the freedom in the space for you? Well, it's wonderful. I, I'm uh, having a very uh, good period of uh, in my career. I'm doing just about what I want to do and almost when I want to do it with whom I want to do it. <laughs> And it's really, it's really great. It, it, it's, it's the way I've wanted it for some time. It must be a great feeling being able to just to stretch a little bit and not have the responsibility and the ride of the road. It really is late because uh, the road was really whipping me. And I, I was not liking going away from home and staying like two or three to four to five to six weeks. I just, I love the band, the band was sounding great, and I love the, the, the guys in the band, but I was just sick of airports and long bus rides. You know, I, I did that for 11 years with the band in the 50s and 60s, and it was great then, but now it's, it's another thing. <laughs> In this time and period, you have a new project here. The catalog is arabesque. And you might uh, just uh, preview this uh, project of yours. Well, first of all, it's my first compact disc. Rec it's my first recording of, for, for an American label. And, and there are five more originals by myself, as well as two non-original, very lovely old standards. And uh, I have a very wonderful personnel on here. Uh, Stephen Scott's on the piano, and Lewis Nash is playing drums, and Christian McBride is on bass. And on two of the cuts, my trumpeter, Derek Gardner, uh, appears. So it's a quintet on two cuts and a quartet on uh, six cuts. Things are getting better all the time. My, my big band is uh, recently organized, The Loud Minority, and uh, I'm just going to stay organized, whatever comes along. And I have a nine-piece group that's supposed to be for dancing. It's called Swing Plus. And we have uh, sort of semi-commercial arrangements in the book, and then we have some swinging things and some uh, Latin-flavored things. In other words, I'm, I'm trying to, to uh, satisfy a dance crowd with, with this particular group, but it, it'll be a concert group as well. And then the quintet is just straight ahead hard jazz. Frank, uh, with your sage eye and your sage ear and all the experiences you have had, this is 1997. What do you see out there? What Are there any trends? in this field that we've all been connected with in one way or another for so very long? Well, there are some trends that I like, and there are some more trends that I find disturbing. Uh, which shall I mention first, the good or the bad? <laughs> in any order. Well, I'll mention the good. The good is that there are a lot of wonderful young musicians coming up that can play their cakes off. They're, you know, Wynton Marsalis, the, that generation started something. And uh, Terrence Blanchard came on, and Donald Harrison, and uh, uh, Javon Jackson. They, they have got some young musicians out there now. Uh, like Kenny Garrett and Bobby Watson are in the forefront, and then there's some more, Jesse Davis and and, and some even younger musicians that, that are coming out of the woodwork and they have groups that are playing original music that's just great. The disturbing trend is that a lot of uh, festival impresarios want to put together all-star groups and forget about individual groups and they want to put a bunch of names together to draw big crowds and this is okay 
for a while, but but I don't like to see this the only thing going on. I want to see young groups nurtured and encouraged to come out and perform and develop their craft the way we did back in the old days. So uh, I'm not too hot on this uh, all-star packaging anymore. I've, you know, and and we got tributes around the corner, tributes to everybody. There are people living today, young and uh, veterans, who have their own music that I think should be heard. And uh, I'm. I'm, 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 I've just had it up to the ears with all-star packaging and jamming old tunes and, you know, that's, I mean, that that's, Norman Grants and those guys, they like that stuff, and it was good, and it'll, it'll always be good, but... I don't want just just to have that happen in jazz and nothing else. I want to see these young groups come up, and I and I got a lot of younger musicians in my band that I'm nurturing and I'm trying to push out there, and that's that's what I want to see: the development of jazz along the lines of uh, the original compositions of all these younger new musicians coming out there. Frank Foster. What a pleasure to talk with you. Here it is, 1997. It's the 29th of June, and it's good territory here on 52nd Street, just off Broadway, in the spirit of the history of this music. And to see you free without all those responsibilities of the road, the airports, and the buses, and uh, paymaster administration <laughs> is is just a pleasure. I can see it's working. Keep on hanging in there. You're one of the one of the people we love to see around uh, pushing this music. Thank you very much.